Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. I'm hoping you're having a splendid and sparkling day. <laughs> so today, uh, i got some corrections to make. Number one, down here is one of our uh, landscaping water systems. And I replaced it yesterday if you watched yesterday's video. And uh, this morning, I hear this big pounding on the door. <laughs> And then it, anyway, what's turned out is <coughs> I had this adjusted too far and it was actually going and hitting the door and then going back and then hitting the door. Anyway, uh, so I, I pulled it, readjusted it, and hopefully have got it set right. Um, cause and effect, I guess. The other uh, two issues we need to solve today and uh, I've solved one of them is with the hydroponics let's go take a look and I'll tell you what the issues are so the first issue I wanted to address is a lot of my tomatoes are kind of turning in a little bit like so not all of them this one looks good um, down here there's a lot of them where they're kind of turned in a little bit and the leaves are curling but once again not all of them and uh, after doing some research uh, I think the issue is they're getting too much water <coughs> so I was using a timer that it was an hourly timer so it'd go for an hour then run for 25 minutes then shut off for an hour and then another 25 minutes constant and after doing a lot of research I'm finding out on Dutch buckets people are just running them like three times a day for 15 minutes so that uh, I had to get a different kind of timer so I switched to a mechanical timer right here and have it set to go off like at 7 in the morning around noon and around 5 o'clock in the evening and actually in for about 20 minutes uh, I like to see how the tomatoes react to that so that's our second fix we've done that so far third one is my floating rafts all of my uh, plants have a little bit of a yellowish to them not a dark green not necessarily some of the other the lettuces mostly and what that's telling me and you got a little bit in the leaves here it's telling me that I gotta uh, you know after doing the research it's probably got a nitrogen problem <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, some more uh, calcium nitrate Let's see if I got a key. <coughs> sorry yeah calcium nitrate uh, I'm gonna add about six teaspoons to that one tank and maybe also to the other tank too and boost it up a little bit and see if these green up a little better so yeah we're just you know like we're still learning <coughs> so I'm gonna mix some of this up and uh, um, we'll look at the results in the next few days well I got all the uh, calcium nitrate added added to both tanks See if that helps green these up a little bit and uh, adjust the timers on all the uh, tomatoes it'll be interesting to see how they respond one other thing we're going to take a little look at is to make sure the NFT systems working okay so far uh, this little plant was kind of messed up in the first place but it's doing good that's looking really good that's my cucumber this is my Swiss chard so far it looks pretty happy this is another uh, spinach and this is a jalapeno jalapeno <laughs> jalapeno and uh, <coughs> didn't kill anything that's that's good so uh, so far so good last but not least we're checking the uh, strawberry towers everything's looking pretty good here uh, down below in the buckets below that's radishes and uh, the strawberries are just just growing and trying to mature and 
shouldn't be too long. Now these uh, here are a little bit more mature because I bought them. Uh, started these are my white strawberries. Never had a white strawberry before, and like I said, they're supposed to taste like pineapple. So, and these uh, towers are all doing good. And then the buckets below here uh, is uh, carrots. And when I come over here and check this thing, this, what I want to check is make sure I got lots of uh, nutrients in the tank and uh, I don't want the pumps to run dry. And like I said, my tank is good for about three to four days. Um, next thing we're going to be doing is we have some a guest, uh, Jay Lynn, is coming uh, over again here uh, next week. And uh, I thought this would be a great project have her help us with she loves to help with the yard and uh i've got to get control of this corner and control the grass on the edges and uh, we'll probably put beauty bark in so yeah so that's the morning report but the day's not over yet another thing that's kind of amazing is we just mowed this lawn this weekend and since i fertilized it it's growing like crazy we have to mow again so I think we're going to be getting on a weekly schedule here. So uh, also we got a German Shepherd here. We just saw a lizard. Where is it, Belle? Get it. Is there something in that tree? Is there something in that tree? Huh? So a German Shepherd is busy all day chasing lizards and butterflies. Yeah, butterflies kind of doesn't make the German Shepherd seem like a very tough dog, does it? My next goal is to uh, take these two barrels. I gotta make sure that the water, this one's getting water for sure. This one over here, I've got to do some adjustments. But I grew some tomatoes here last year, if you watch last year's videos. And I'm gonna do that again, because this is a really good spot. So uh, I got lots of tomatoes. So we are gonna put some tomato plants here and in the front here. Probably by this weekend. I uh, just got to clear this out a little bit. Sure, he says, I think we got to turn this thing. It's like, are you kidding me? This thing weighs like 200 pounds. So we'll try our best. But uh, once I get this turned, adjusted the way we want it, make sure I got water. Uh, tomatoes will go in. I've got tons of tomato plants. One more report is uh, on our freeze dryer. We are uh, doing our first four trays of 2% uh, milk. And uh, if any of you guys have ever bought powdered milk, you'll see it's a very expensive. So it's like, okay, let's see if we can make some. So uh, we took, uh, ran that, it's actually finishing up. <laughs> and, uh, uh, sorry, German Shepherds chasing butterflies. Uh, so anyway, so uh, tonight we'll pull that and uh, uh, We also got a moisture meter now so we can double check to make sure we get things dried out all the way and uh, We'll start doing we're gonna start doing more powdered milk uh, Just to have it as a backup. Uh, we've bought powdered milk from the stores and stuff and uh, Man that stuff's expensive. So it'll be interesting to see how much we can make of our own that would be a good thing to have in our preps. Well guys, you never guess where I was. <laughs> I went to Home Depot, yeah. But I also went to another place called Bymart. Uh, one of my goals this week is to uh, build up our preps for the dogs and the cats. So uh, I had to pick up another garbage can to put some other food in. I'm gonna be buying more. And the reason we use the garbage cans for those of you who don't have homesteads is it keeps the mice away from it. I did always keep a spare bag of dog food in here when I first moved here and I put it in that shop. And a couple of months later I went to reach to move it and the bag was empty. <laughs> and I had a little hole at the bottom. So we make sure that we uh, put all of our food items like that for pets and stuff in uh, garbage cans, kind of like what we do with the chickens. So I uh, got that, I had to replace it, get some more perlite, uh, bought some uh, more pole beans to put into the uh, NFT system. We'll be putting those in today and uh, did some groceries. <laughs> uh, I actually 
my floating raft in the green room is actually producing quite a bit of uh, butternut uh, crunch uh, lettuce. So I think it's time to make a uh, make a salad and add some of that lettuce in, don't you think? Uh, I didn't grow that stuff just to look at. So anyway, uh, let me get this stuff unloaded and we'll get some beans planted today. All right, guys, we're in a greenhouse. Everything's looking good in here. Uh, on these uh, new green beans I'm getting, what I've been finding is I uh, cut a little hole at the bottom of these net cups. Then I use uh, a little bit of scrap uh, Rockwell cube around the end uh, help support the plant. And that's what I use when I put them into the uh, NFT system. So cool. I've got a, my uh, green beans outside. I have to pull them out individually, rinse them off, get the dirt off the roots, <laughs> and then uh, we can plant them. Well, we got the uh, green beans uh, planted on the other side of this NFT system. And uh, you see, uh, we got five plants in here. Some are doubled up plants. I put some temporary ropes on it because we're kind of windy. And uh, I'll take those off as soon as I can tie them to the uh, trellis. But uh, yeah, set to go. Let's see if we can get some green beans now. Well, it's been a pretty busy day, all kinds of little things going on. I'm hoping to see the hydroponic uh, uh, nutrients in the raft uh, to uh, see if it causes my plants to get a little greener. Uh, nothing's dying, it's just uh, something i uh, got to watch out for. And the tomato plants too, I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how they react to getting less water during the each day. So. Uh, yeah, and live and learn. So uh, yeah, we got a lot of things fixed today. Got to run some errands. Uh, it's been actually a very pretty day. Uh, nice and warm out. Uh, next week it'll be really nice to get some uh, a guest over here to help out on a couple projects and uh, so on. And uh, <laughs> German Shepherds hunting for butterflies. Anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank you very much for watching. We're going to wrap it up right here. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We appreciate it. And please leave a comment below and say hello. And, uh, tell us what you're up to or what do you like us to talk about. And I know I probably walk by a lot of things you might have questions about, and uh, I don't even think about it. So you just let me know in the comments, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. So, guys, have a great weekend. And a uh, great day and be safe and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.